Should we be frightened? Um, no. This is uh, about business as usual as far as our counter-terrorist officers are concerned. Uh, keeping us safe is what they do day in, day out. Having said that, uh, for some time they've been telling us that an attack is highly likely, so they've put us on a terrorist threat level of severe. And the reasons for this are that um, the leaders of groups like ISIS and also some of the people behind the scenes have been putting out messages for the past year or so and having discussions on social media like Twitter uh, about uh, encouraging people to carry out attacks against the West as well as carrying on the fight in the Middle East. So what they're saying is if you can't get to Syria, don't worry, you can carry out attack uh, back home. And they're just alerting us to that. But having said that, so far, um, they claim to have thwarted five plots this year. So they are in a way on top of the game, but they're saying one will eventually get through. Margaret, you'd imagine that they're gonna, if it's going to happen, they would think about specific moments or dates in the calendar. This weekend is the VJ Day celebrations, of course, uh, and we know from the headlines that it's the Queen that they're looking at, or that's what we're led to believe. Will they raise the, um, the threat level for this weekend? If they raise the threat level, that means that they believe there's an attack that is uh, ready to go, that is imminent, and then they would raise it to critical. They haven't done that. So what I suspect is going on is that it's very clear, it is undeniable, there are aspirations out there to carry out an attack, but there is no firm evidence that that attack is actually at a point where it may be carried out and they're not uh, on top of it. So if there were very specific plans around, I'd expect us to go up to critical, mm. and uh, or I would expect a whole roundup of arrests. That hasn't happened, but the warning still has to be out there. The aspiration is there. It's undeniable. It's what people are talking about who are supporters of ISIS, and it's what they're talking about on Twitter.